In this question, we're asked to solve the equation 3x minus 2 over 4 minus 2x plus 5 over 3 equals 1 minus x over 6. And so let's first focus on the left-hand side of the equation. In order to take away fractions, we need to make sure that they have a common denominator. The first fraction has a denominator of 4, and the second fraction has a denominator of 3. And so we can create a common denominator of 12. Now let's start by doing this with the first fraction. To get a denominator of 12 in the first fraction, we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3. And so when we multiply the numerator by 3, we end up with 3 bracket 3x minus 2, which we can then expand to get 9x minus 6 over 12. Now let's move on to the second fraction. So we have 2x plus 5 all divided by 3. And to get the common denominator of 12, we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 4. And so 2x plus 5 multiplied by 4 will give 4 brackets 2x plus 5, which we can then expand to get 8x plus 20 over 12. Since we now have a common denominator, we can plug this back into the original equation. We can say 9x minus 6 over 12 take away 8x plus 20 over 12 is equal to 1 minus x over 6. And we can rewrite the first fraction as follows. We can say 9 minus 6 minus 8x plus 20 all over 12 is equal to 1 minus x over 6. And this is where we need to be careful with our signs. This minus sign applies to both the 8x and the 20. And so we end up with 9x minus 6 minus 8x minus 20 all over 12 equals 1 minus x over 6. Now we can simplify this further by collecting like terms. And so looking at the equation that we have, we can highlight the like terms over here. And so we have 9x and minus 8x as our like terms. And then we also have the constants minus 6 and minus 20. So now let's simplify this. 9x take away 8x is the same as x. And minus 6 minus 20 is minus 26. So we have x minus 26 over 12 equals 1 minus x over 6. And now we need to cross multiply. And so we'll do 6 multiplied by x minus 26 is equal to 12 multiplied by 1 minus x. So we can expand this and we're left with 6x minus 156 is equal to 12 minus 12x. Now let's isolate the x terms and bring all of the x terms to, the, to one side. And so we'll move the minus 12x to the left hand side. And we'll move the minus 156 to the right hand side. And so we end up with 6x plus 12x, which is 18x equals 12 plus 156, which is 168. And now to find x, we divide both sides by 18. And so 168 divided by 18 is 28 over 3. And so we've found our final answer that x is equal to 28 over 3. Now this question is worth four marks. So let's take a look at where these marks are allocated. The first mark will be for writing at least two fractions with a common denominator which we've done clearly when we made the common denominator of the two fractions in the equation 12. Now the second mark is for the correct expansion of brackets and for simplifying this into x minus 26 over 12 equals 1 minus x over 6. Now the third mark is for correctly isolating terms in x and number terms of the linear equation and ending up with 6x minus 156 equals 12 minus 12x. And so we isolated the x terms by ending up with 18x equals 168. And that fourth and final mark is for getting the correct answer of 28 over 3, which could also be written as a mixed number, 9 and a third. And so this correct answer will get us the fourth and final mark in order to get full marks in this question.